Hey, Stevie Nunn here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with something pretty cool. This is a tribute to a 1969 and a half 446 pack Super B. Now, 1,907 of the actual cars were built in 1969 and a half, introducing the world to the 446 pack engine, which of course is the three Hawley two barrel carburetors. Now, this was born an F code 318 car, but you know what? It doesn't know the difference. Let's dig in. Now, of course, under the hood we have the 440 engine uh, has some day two mods in the form of these aluminum valve covers, uh, a billet aluminum alternator bracket, a chromed alternator, that's, all, that's good for show, uh, manual drum brakes, which is what the Super Bs had, and uh, of course, uh, under this steel air cleaner, it's not a fiberglass reproduction, it's the real thing, we have the wonderful trio of Holly 2300 series two barrel carburetors. Now this is all correct stuff, the aluminum intake, also correct for 1969 and a half. Another day two modification, the MSD Digital 6A uh, ignition system. Fuel pressure regulator right here. It's always good to have the uh, carburetors in proper uh, kit, as they say, and that will help that to happen. Now these day two items can either be retained or eliminated, you choose. But again, uh, the hood, of course, on these is held on with four pins. That's factory. And here is the hood here. Fiberglass, one-piece item with this massive six-pack scoop. And you got to remember, this was basically a car that Chrysler built for folks to, well, <clears throat> I won't say go street racing with, but it wasn't made for NHRA L-Stock or G-Stock or FX. It was made for Main Street USA. And it's a great example of a less is more muscle car, perhaps the purest form of the road going muscle car ever. Uh, manual steering, again, part of that less is more vibe. And speaking of less is more, the 69 and a half Roadrunner and Super B six pack cars came with 15 by six inch steel wheels with no hubcaps. That's right, no hubcaps, but Chrysler gave you these chrome lug nuts to increase the eye appeal factor. And, you know, to, to emulate what kids were doing on Main Street USA all over the country throughout the 1960s. Gotta love the uh, red line bias ply Firestones right there. Correct stuff. Uh, inside, you gotta love, again, the less is more thing. Bent seat column torque flight. And that is true. Many of these six-pack cars were built exactly like this. Buckets and a center console were certainly an option, but the basic package was just like you see it here. And the beauty is, two bucket seats actually weigh more than one bench seat, and the column shifted automatic, once you get the hang of it, is very easy to utilize. One, two, drive, and 13, four, second quarter miles are just a click away, thanks to that torque flight. Got some gauges down low here to keep an eye on stuff. Coolant temperature, oil pressure, and uh, charging system data. Quarter panels are really nice on this one. Eight and three quarter rear axle here with super stock leaf springs or RT springs, I should say. Uh, you know, five leaves with two extras and a six leaf on one side and the other. Good to see that. And of course, the Super B tail stripe has been added properly and correctly. And again, the Dodge Super B was part of the Dodge Scat Pack, or as they said at the cars with the Bumblebee stripes. So here it is right here. And it's rendered in beautiful tour red. Let's take a peek inside the trunk. And before I do that, here it is, the beautiful metal Super B emblem on the back, which is correct stuff. So the, the, the build of this car, the tribute to an actual Super B, was done very nicely. And let's peek inside the trunk and see what we find. Yeah, nice, nice crisp detailing here. A spare red line right there. And these puppies here, if you've ever been to a place like Chrysler's at Carlisle or the Mopar Nationals, you know that folks who own six pack cars put these where the pins go and then they set the hood up here on top so you can see inside the engine bay while the hood's still on the car. And it appears to me this orange uh, brace is probably a sign holder or maybe a bracket for the hood, which is uh, when it's in show mode. So again, a nice example of a, um, a tribute to a 69 and a half Super B six pack and it's priced accordingly. I know the real ones are kind of hard to get. And beyond that, if you have a real numbers matching Super B six pack, you might be afraid to hurt it or drive it hard because if you, you know, pop the engine or whatever, well, you've done some irreplaceable damage. But when you have a clone or a tribute like this, especially a well done one, the world doesn't know that it's not a numbers matching car. And beyond that, the car doesn't know. It runs just like the real thing, if not better. So that's the story of this one here. And uh, this car is available with as little as 10% down here at High Classics. And uh, keep in mind that High Classics will deliver cars to your place of work, your school, whatever you want. And um, they do accept trades in the form of uh, late models, collector cars, bikes, all of that can be considered. So to learn more about this car, give Hyacton Classics a, a call at 
4515 and check this car out online at the High Octane Classics website.